Okay, so we're in this series, look. We're learning in this, this August, they shall not pass. This series is to benefit your grounding, okay? It's going to make improvements on where you're getting smashed, where you're getting passed. It's going to help you defend yourself more intelligently and more calmly. You're going to trust in techniques and you're going to use the strength that we use during our warm-ups, our power, uh, and our power lifting training, our sprinting training, our running, our swimming, our climbing. All those other powers that you have will help you do a better job at playing the game of jiu-jitsu off your back. Because jiu-jitsu is a game. You have to know the rules of the game. When you know the rules of the game and you know the areas that you have, get to play in, you just become a very well-rounded player. And as you continue to train and get more details, you'll be an excellent player. Okay? So here, let's talk about some body positioning information. All right? Dago right now is on his back, what we call this as supine. Okay? Dago right now is on his back, is he not? And Dago on his back, his feet are up facing uh, the window here that does in that direction. Dago's head should be off the ground. I don't know if you stop moving, please. So, had Diego's head's off the ground to be read to, and his shoulders are bent L forward, ready to make a, a, a concave shape like this, like this, right? He's here, he's ready, his opponent's gonna attack. His feet should really not be down here like this, where he already pinned himself, and now he doesn't have that range of motion, right? So he has his hands ready, his elbows are tight to his side. He doesn't want his elbows to be out so loose. Here, he would be fighting off his back. Now Diego will do a sit up and do one butt scoop back, just a little bit, one butt scoop. Right here, Diego now is fighting off his butt. See, but this is all considered fighting off the ground. Because right now he's not on his feet. Okay, so Diego has, right now, he has his ready stance. He's in the forward, he's keeping his elbows tight. He doesn't want to expose it too much away from the elbow where uh, some person could attack him. Right, pull his arm, jump into the arm bar, right. Diego's here on his butt. He's ready to swivel using his feet to move if the opponent on top is circling. Because the goal on top at the moment for me is to get around his defense and his legs. The smallest parts of his body is what's going to trip me up and it's what he's going to use to fight me off of the back. So I want to find an angle, right? Right here, our bodies don't move laterally like this. You see that? It doesn't go like this. We have to circle, and then we shoot straight. But Diego didn't let me cut any angle on him. You see that? I couldn't outflank him. So, right now, that person on the bottom, he's ready for me to control his legs, control his, control his feet here, and to add weight down, pressure down, and make it hard for them to follow me. Go. See this? Here, it's really hard for Diego to follow, and now I moved all the way to the back, and then I'm settling down. Okay? So in theory, that's what we're doing. It may look like right now, I have the size advantage, and 
you're like, man, it's really easy for you to stay and do that teach because you're a lot heavier, you have more weight to pin uh, his feet to the ground from his knees, right? From his knees, I, I'm pinning, I'm putting weight down, pinning his hips, and then also his feet, making it hard. You know, sometimes you can grab the feet here, pinning the feet down to control the whole leg. So, you see, I have to do the whole leg. And look, when I get to the side, my next goal is to get chest to chest. Okay, so when I get chest to chest, now I can let go of the legs because I've passed that defense. I've passed his ankles and toes. Now his ankles and toes have to deal with my hips because my toes have already played that game. My toes now are using it as a base and anchor to keep myself solid and heavy here. And then I can start setting, uh, separating his elbows from his body. When I can separate elbows from his body, I can start making attacks and going into attacking positions, right? Right here, I have Kimuras. Right here, I have, right here, I tap one, I put his hand on top of my thigh, and then the top leg on the inside. I can switch my hips towards the ground. Here and now, because this hand is underneath my leg, and then he, doesn't, he only has one hand to fight me over here, and my chest is separating uh, this hand from his other arm. So it's going to be really hard for Diego. So Diego, stand up. Okay, next part here. Now I'm on the back. When should you be on your back, and when should you be on your butt? That really depends on what you guys are going to launch, okay? So when I say launch is what kind of defense that you gonna put up, okay? Right here, I'm playing against a guy on his feet and I'm on my butt, he's a lot faster. What first thing I'm gonna do, what I should be looking for, I'm looking for is grips. I'm looking to make grips. Leo, I'm looking to make grips because now uh, he doesn't have yet control of my legs. So right now, it's still up in the air for who's going to get control and do what, right? Diego has one hand now on my leg, and I have one hand on his grip. But right now, look, I'm outflanking him. He, he exposed this, look. His legs are open. I can pull. He's down. Nice one, right? Stand up. So... Already, this is, when you play a game, this is the, one of the first stages, right? You can start the game right here. Uh, now you guys just got to know the rules of engagement. The first rule right here is I want to establish grips. I want to get some control, right? If I start, I, can, I can't grab grips with my feet, but I can make hooks. See? Is this right there? I really can't, I can't grab with my feet, but I can make hooks so that I can put pressure against uh, outwards, in this case outwards, making him, uh, making his balance hard. Let me rephrase that. Making it hard for him to balance. Okay? He can easily step out of this though, right? And he can start attacking. Notice how, go back, see? Notice how he, right here before he passed, he placed his hands on my knees trying to keep my legs pinned, where I only can use my upper body and my lower body won't, uh, won't catch up. No, move slow. Right here, watch. My legs are behind, and then when he gets past, Dago's going all the way towards the back now. Okay? You don't want that to happen. Okay? That, that'll suck, right, Ben? You know about that. Okay? Stand up. So here, just remember, right now, as you guys are learning and practicing jujitsu, I want you guys to practice getting good at these little skills like grabbing grips and having confidence, uh, knowing what to well, knowing what to do right when you start the game. A lot of people start the game, they don't know where to start. So what happens is they wait until the other person starts the game, and then they're always playing catch up, and they never really start playing jujitsu. Uh, according to what they want. Make sense? So here, right, when I start, I get myself close, 
and then I go for grips on the wrist. Okay, so when I get grips on the wrist, now I want to start using my feet and connecting them to the body so that I can make a, I can start attacking his balance. Balance, right? Because my goal is right here to get myself into a different position that is better for me. Right now, it's not really good for me down here because he's on his feet and he is a more superior in the way that he, he has balance, right? So here, I want to get this grip. There's two and one grips, two grips on both hands, on both wrists. I personally like to use uh, one hand to control the wrist, and the other, I start dragging. Okay, so from the bottom, you want to be, in the bottom, you're already playing defense, but because you're in defense, doesn't mean that you can't take the ball and play offense. Because you're on the bottom, that's where your game starts. But when you have an offensive mindset, you take the game into new areas and you, you, you move away from the place that you start. And you don't want to go into a place where, he, where he, he's, he's choosing. Because he's choosing to put you in a bad, bad spot where he's getting closer to winning the match. So, yeah, you're starting here. You can switch the situation. So how I like to use the grabbing skills to, switch, to help me switch the situation is like so. I grab here and I drag, right? I arm drag across from the bottom. When I drag from the bottom, watch, I can lift this leg up now because all his balance is on this foot. I lift from here, right? If you're fast enough, you can come up. You can, it's called wrestle up, right? Because you're going to wrestle up. Because right now, Diego's only on three points of contact. He's only on one, two, three. And his, the, his right foot is mine right now. I have this balance. So if I can see you getting up, right, he's still going to be, I, I want to keep him in the same position. If I can keep him in the same position, I can start attacking him down systematically, mechanically. Right here, I can bend the knee, force him to the other knee. Then now he only has two left, right? I can pull one down, drive forward. Now he has returned back to the ground, and then I've changed the whole situation. No, this is a uh, little kid's class. Okay? So today we won't have much time for you to practice some of the stuff. Diego, stand up. But I want you to just get that concept, okay? Grabbing here, you can make two. If you are a person that has your legs masters, right? Some of you guys are becoming leg masters, meaning you guys are becoming uh, masters of movement with your feet and control of your legs, right? You can fight with your feet and hands simultaneously, meaning at the same time you can do all these things at one time. When you get this skill, when, you, when that skill gets really high, you can do a lot of advanced things, okay? This is more of an intermediate level. If you can practice this, uh, th this will help you lead into more advanced uh, sequences. So if you're off your butt, you sit up. Uh, you sit up technically so that you protect yourself, and then you go and you grab the wrist. When you do grab the wrist now, now make connections with your feet and fight with your feet. Boom, boom, see, look at this. Deliver, I'm gonna step on the right, left. Now I've made the connection and I'm starting to fight. If I can start pulling him in, and then I start seeing what he does. So he, well, how he responds. Now he starts responding to me, sidestepping right here. He's not really focusing on breaking these grip controls, and my feet is keeping that distance. He's not addressing my feet. I still have his hands under control. I can shoot up. I can start attacking for triangles, using my hips to attack his neck, right? Because, at, because any triangles, it's a hip attack, right? We're putting our hips into it, attacking his neck. Okay, here, you can use it for a sweep. Here, you can start using your feet to adjust to the side. Or, 
you can use that connection later. Or you can use that connection actually moving yourself into a different leg uh, guard. Right here, you have the lahiva. Okay? Then from here, you can start a whole different game to take the person down. Make sense? Okay? Uh, you guys, uh, I think that's time right now.